Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. is an unrepentant enemy a foundational enemy it is a household enemy who studies your activities and capitalize on your ignorance to finish you that's the characteristics a stronghold he studies you and come from behind the power of the altar is your ignorance the Israel didn't know the enemy will wait for them they've just left this major enemy that kept them in captivity for 430 years how would they know that there was another enemy somewhere Unrepentant enemy takes advantage of your ignorance. A Malachi spirit is a destiny killer, it is the spirit that extinguishes your zeal, cover your star from shining, is a future destroyer. Malachite is a future what? Come on. A future what? I can't forget some years back. One of my friends called me and says, I want to send one of my members, a leader in the church to you, please. I want you to talk with her and minister to her. I said, okay. What is the matter? He said, God showed me and I have confronted her and she agreed. That in five years, all the people that married in the church, no one got pregnant. In five years. And I have been worried as a pastor. And as I was praying, God showed me that there is a leader, a worker in the church. That what? She is on assignment. And what she does is get involved in every wedding. Run around for you. Spend some money on you. That's what she does. That you can't refuse the offer. Everyone who wedded needs somebody around. Anything you need, whatever. She stays, plan everything and execute it. And she gets into you so that as soon as they said, we we'll declare this man husband and wife. As everybody begins to clap, because she is always around, she comes. Of course, this person that has helped you to plan and the wedding is now, you are now wife. She embraces you. That closes the womb. Can you understand this spirit now? It, you, see, the spirit of Amalek works in such a way that it takes you being spiritual to identify. Yes, That's why the Bible said they came from behind to attack Israel. Everyone, every lady she embraced, the womb closes. 
And the lady arrived in Benin, sat her down, and she told me the truth. Then I was confused. You know what confused me? I said, okay, when somebody wedded now, everybody comes. How do you know that this embrace will finish? Especially from someone that has helped. See, Amalek studies you. The Amalekite spirit studies you to know when to attack that you won't suspect. And that was what grieves God had. They didn't confront Moses. No. They confronted the innermost parts. The weary and the weak. If you want to understand Amalek, watch Animal Channel and see how lion pick a lonely antelope. The antelope that is. Others are going in group. He won't attack the group. That is the reason why, pastor, listen to me. If you don't see any member on one Sunday, go and look for the member. Because Amalek will attack a member that is isolated. Somebody say, I hear. Please, H.O.D., take note. Amalek will attack a member that is isolated. One Sunday, two Sundays. You don't wait for the second Sunday. Go and look for that member before Amalek will visit. Somebody say, I hear. Amalek. The spirit of Amalek. Number two characteristics is the spirit that kills your joy. What do I mean? That the people who are just rejoicing haven't, es haven't escaped from Egypt, cross Red Sea, and watch Goliath swallowed. Then Amalek came. Please take note. That is the spirit that attacks you after a major breakthrough or a major victory. You know, I said something to you two, days, uh, two Sundays ago. I said, you got to understand that after you have had an encounter in the place of fasting and prayer, let me tell you the spirit that comes to attack you. Is the spirit of Amalek. Because at this point, you are happy. At this point, you are so expectant. That is the spirit that comes to visit. This spirit attacks you. You must watch out this spirit whenever there is a miracle, whenever there is a breakthrough, whenever there is an answer. This spirit will want to come to kill your joy. Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week, a week of testimony unlimited testimony somebody shout and receive it before Israel we say Jack Amalek has shown up am I communicating he has shown up and attacked them Kill their joy. And you know he attacked from behind. The third characteristics of this wicked spirit is a secret attacker. A secret attacker. Watch this. 
He attacks from behind. Capitalizes on your weakness. Attacks when you are weak and tired. Attacks when you are spiritually low. Does not attack you. Does not confront you in the front. No. Destroys your reputation behind you. That's how the spirit operates. Please look at the scripture in Deuteronomy 25, 17 to 19. Quickly. Get ready to pray. Remember what Amalek did unto thee by the way. Can you give me a living Bible? Never forget. Look at somebody and say, don't forget. Look at the person again. Say, don't forget this teaching. He said, never forget what Amalekites did to you as you came from Egypt. They attacked you when you were exhausted and weary. And they struck down those who were struggling behind. They had no fear of who? The spirit of Amalek does not fear God. It's a ruthless demon. You know what it waits for? It waits for you when you are weary and tired. When you are weary and tired, be careful. These spirits that lick up everything, that's when it comes. It won't attack you and confront you when you are strong. No. It comes when you are weak. When you are spiritually low, that's when Amalekite spirit shows up. And it's not going to attack you and say, I am the spirit of Amalek. No. It's going to come from behind. You know the people he attacked? Another translation said, he attacked the elderly. He attacked the children. He attacked those who were lacking behind. Amalekite spirit attacks. Am I communicating? This wicked spirit, the spirit of Amalek. Look at 2 Samuel chapter 17, 1 and 2. 2 Samuel chapter 17, 1 and 2. Now, Ahithophel urged Absalom, let me choose 12,000 men to start out after David tonight. I will catch up with him while he is weary and discouraged. He and his troop will panic and everyone will run away. Then I will kill only the king. Avoid anything that will get you exhausted. Anything that will cause your spirit man to be low. Anything that will cause you to be weary and weak. Even at that moment you are weak, you can pray. Now, there are a lot of things that can res be responsible for weakness and weariness. Issues of life. When you are confronted with the battles of life. When things are not working out. All that the enemy is doing by those things is to get you weary and get you weak and exhausted. When it's like there is no hope anymore, please can I encourage you? Speak in tongues. What do you do? When you lack words to express what is happening to you. When you lack words to speak because you don't know what else to say. All that the enemy is trying to do at this point is to weaken you. As he weakens you, he will attack Ahithophel the prophet said to Absalom when he was after his father, I know how. Raise me 12,000 men. But you know with 12,000 men, I cannot still win David. The only time I can win David is when he is weary. And when he is weak, discouraged, looking at his throne taken from him, losing the rulership of the whole Israel, and he's discouraged. Discouragement is one of the weapons a Malachi spirit uses.
Thank you.